Hi everyone, it's Janine from The Vision Division. Welcome back to my channel. I have the new Galaxy Watch 3. Okay, so here's the deal. I previously bought this watch, which I love the rose gold. I already, if you watched my other video, I already told you I love everything that's gold and bling and pink and everything. But I decided to buy the bigger band. So this is the same thing as a Galaxy Watch 3, but it has it's the 45 millimeter instead of the 41. And today's video, what we're going to do, we're going to be switching from this one, from the 41 millimeter to the 45 millimeter, and we're going to be setting it up on the phone. So now, last time I did this video, I kept saying phone when I meant watch. So if I do that again, please bear with me. <laughs> I don't mean to do it, but I'm going to try very hard to say my watch when I mean watch and my phone when I mean phone. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, so what I had to do already was I went to I went to the I'm trying to remember what I did. <laughs> I think I went up here and I went to add new device. And then I went to Galaxy Watch. Now what it automatically would have done previous to this is that it would tell me to back up. Um, the data from this watch before I switch to another watch so I did not do the backup on screen because I already have a video which um, showed you how to back up and reset your phone I'm sorry how to back up and reset your watch so that's already done the link is going to be above so you'll be able to see exactly how to do it. So now it shows right here, two different watches. So I'm gonna go back. And, and it's already, you know, because I already opened it up and I already kind of set it up. So I'm gonna pair it to this watch because that's the watch that it's looking at. Okay, so now it is finished pairing and what I'm going to do is I already hit the agree and What I'm going to do now is this is all the same setup as It was for this watch, but there are differences uh, because this is the LTE watch um, so Upon using this watch the smaller one the pink one for a little while um, I realize that I don't take my phone with me everywhere that I go and it kind of is defeating the purpose uh, because what happens is my apartment is pretty big it's pretty big so what happens is when I go into the kitchen or the living room from my room where I'm usually have my phone at so when I go into the kitchen I lose Bluetooth it's not it's too far so I miss calls and actually that's part of the reason why I got the watch so that um, when I go into another room I can have my have the watch tell me what texts I get and what phone calls I get as well as a constant step counter because when I leave my phone in the bedroom and go into the kitchen or the living room I'm not my steps aren't being counted at that time so I really just needed a constant step uh, counter and I needed something that if I leave my phone in the bedroom I'll be able to get uh, my phone calls and my texts and this watch because of how far how large my apartment is I'm not able to get my calls and my texts on the Bluetooth watch 
So I purchased the one with the LTE and it has a SIM card already inside and everything. That's something I wanted you guys to know also. So after I bought the watch, I went to my carrier and I asked them, you know, about setting up my watch um, with a service so that what happens is uh, there is a it's an automatic SIM card already in the watch, okay? So what they do is they activate, um, there are some numbers on the back of the box, I will show you. So there are numbers down here on the back of your box. So when you're setting up your watch, you're going to need these numbers to activate your watch with a phone service. So now what the phone service is going to do, if it's the same phone service as your telephone service, which it should be if you want it to connect to your phone. Um, so what happens is when somebody calls me on my phone and I'm out of Bluetooth range, the signal, my phone carrier will send a signal to my watch and I'll be able to answer my calls on my watch as well as answer my text and see my text on my watch. So I hope that I explained that correctly and that you guys completely understand what I'm saying. But I'm going to try to show you a demonstration of what happens. I'm going to try. Okay, so now all of this is the same setup. I'm going to do everything except for the last one, but you'll see that if you go to my video, you will see um, what this last one is because I looked it up and everything. I'm not going to do all of that right now to show you what everything is. You just have to go to my other video. Okay, so it says sign in with your Samsung account, which I'm going to skip that right now. Now, this is where this differs from when I set this watch up. It didn't say anything about set up a mobile plan. Okay? So now it says um, there's already a mobile plan saved to my watch because what happened was I, I wanted to set it up and see if there was any differences. I didn't know that there was differences and since I did see that there was differences in the setup, I, go, I went ahead and reset the new watch so I can do this over for you guys like I like to do for you. So now it says there's already a mobile plan saved on your watch. Do you want to keep using that plan or add a new one? So I want to use the previous plan, the one that I had already, that's already set up because I already had um, my carrier activate the SIM card on my watch to go with my, with my phone. Yeah, it says welcome to T-Mobile. Now you can call and text on your watch using your T-Mobile mobile plan and your phone's phone number. Now it says I'm all set. And here we go. Now it's going to do the same um, walkthrough that it gave me for this watch. So I'm going to do it real quick. Uh, because I did it all before. What needs to be done is that there is an update. Okay, there it is. The watch software update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to um, put in the watch software update. I'm going to click on that. But normally what happens when you're first setting it up is that it's going to, it's going to pop up on your phone and let you know. Actually, I think it popped up on the watch first and then it told you to look at your phone which um, I did and I'm going to have to go ahead and download and install. Now also what you didn't get to see is that there were features, there was a prompt saying that it wanted to add, uh, add features onto the app on your phone that only you get from T-Mobile. So when you have your phone on a carrier, there's other features involved. Like another thing, another reason why I went on and got the bigger one with the LTE is because when you fall, if you don't have 
that chip in here from what I understand if you don't have the chip in here your your watch will not call for emergency help and that's what I needed to do I needed to call for emergency help if I fall or if there's a sudden fall or if I need to say if I need to if anything happens I need to have a way to click my watch or go to Bixby and tell Bixby to call 911 if at any point in time I need emergency services and I'm nowhere near my phone so that's why I that's the another reason why I got the one with the LTE I think it's a better thing to do okay so I'm waiting for it to finish copying the update And another reason why I'm also recording this is because when I did it on the uh, on the pink watch, when I first set up the pink watch, I had already did this update before I got a good recording. So this up uh, this update right here that I'm doing isn't in the other videos. So I wanted to make sure that I give my viewers the best information, most accurate information that I can. And now I'm going to hit install now. And there you have it. That is the setup of, oh wait, it's telling me it's not connected. So it's not gonna connect automatically. So I have to go to connect. Okay, saying finalizing update. This may take some time. Okay, so I guess I'm not finished yet. Bluetooth disconnected mobile data will be used instead. And, it's, and the little thing went away, which means that they are connected. Okay, so here's another, <laughs> here's another update. So I'm going to that one now. This one is the health monitor app for ECG measurements. Available on Google smartphones with Android 7.0 and later. Now the thing is, I didn't find that, so I'm gonna actually have to look that up and see where I can find it. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this update. Well, this one's much faster. Oh, oh, I spoke too soon. Yes, it's not. making sure there's no more updates that need to be done okay there you go that works all right guys that should be it um what i'm going to do off camera is i'm going to go ahead and restore the data that i backed up from this watch and i'm going to restore it onto this watch but again i have a video um, which shows you how to do that so I don't have to do that on camera. Um, I will be coming back with more videos like I said I would. Um, so I want to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. And also leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about these videos that I'm doing. Um, your feedback is always welcome. Now everybody be safe. Bye bye.